I gotta see first if I need to change the controllers or if I can work with this. So far, so good. Uh, let me check real quick to see if the options. Yep, everything is tip top. Ah, cool. That's nice. That was really cool, man. All right, so we go in. This version, of course, is the European one. Move it. Over it. So you're going to hear a lot of the... Yeah, this one is with Nunchuck, Nunchuck, and the Wiimote. I don't know if it's going to work with the classic controller, which is the one that I have right now. Let me check and see real quick. If not, I'll just put in another one. Emulated. Alright, so which one do I have? Let's bring it right here. Last story. Do I have a profile for that one? I should. If not, I can always use the 360, the profile that I use for uh, the Galaxy games. Super Mario. Tag. Just do your job. Look at think of the money. I'd rather think of the bee you're gonna buy me with it. Only if you get more of these things than me. Alright, it's on. Try not to fall too far behind, eh? You have a monstrous ego there. Then you can look forward to my monster victory. See how I can manage. There you go. Hold down and use. Now, which one is B here? It wouldn't surprise me at all. Okay, let's skip the tutorial because I'm not going to be here much with this one. Just wanted to show it off to you guys. Skip, skip, skip. Okay. Rather do this real time.
Yurik, let's move. Wait. You think Dagrun and Serena are ahead? Yeah. Let's go and find them. That's gonna happen. Sooner or later that's gonna happen, Aaron. Don't be so surprised. This place is crawling with these things. What do we do? I don't think they've noticed us yet. Seek. Now, do I have? Yes, I have. Do it, do it, kill him! Uh. Oh, Holy crap! Zale, it's the Reptid's Hall. Dagwood and Seren have messed up. Now, as you can see, this is a Wii title, and look how detailed the characters look, even though it wasn't a, a HD system, both in terms of dialogue, music, and gameplay, and even the art style, it's amazing. Now, Xenoblade Chronicles, of course, uh, won a lot of prizes, a lot of recognition, because of the massive, massive world that you had. But this story kind of like fell underneath, you know, with all the hype of the other games. And I just wanted to showcase it because it's a really cool title, especially people who love RPGs um, would get a kick out of this one. It has a lot of gameplay. It still has the, the thing that you probably need the nunchuck and, and Wiimote to be ordered, uh, in order to play it because I don't think you'll be able to play it with a classic controller. However, it is a game worth uh, searching and getting into. Sale, stop. Don't get carried away. All right. Since that's going to take a lot of time because that's basically like a uh, very long tutorial to get you into the battle system and all that stuff. I'm going to jump into another to another title. Now, here's one that I showed on Tuesday, I think it was, but since you missed it, Aaron, I'm gonna I'm gonna play it one more time for you, even if it's for a few minutes. Cause this one this is one of those games that you need to play with JRP. That's all I can say. I need to change real quick my profile and get really quick my profile for this game. Load it up, change it to zero and we are set to go now what game am I talking about this beauty right here I'm not even gonna put heavy metal music because I want you to listen to the whole thing I mean I will put music in the gameplay but oh no got the wrong one this one is cool, House of the Dead, 2 and 3, of course, they're awesome titles, but that's not the one I want. The one I want you to check out is... The name implies how badass it is. Overkill. Yes. This is awesome. This is, without a doubt, super awesome. Now, why am I here? No, no, no. There you go. Jesus Christ. Went batshit crazy all of a sudden. Well, 
Let's go, let's go, let's do this. I'm gonna raise the audio real quick. There we go. you guys to see all this crap but I'm gonna have to do it anyways okay house of the dead load and change to zero done and done there we go now one little disclaimer I'm playing this with the 360 controller now, I was trying to get my real Wiimote and nunchuck because I have like a, a sensor bar which is wireless that I can connect that to and it would have been much better but I'm gonna have to play it using the analog which is a pain in the ass is the best way I can describe it so here we go well, let me keep this here and Leave it in pause because I want you to hear the music in the beginning. The uh, intro. Motherfucker. Yeah. Bent as adversaries. <laughs> what was that for? A monster made them allies. <laughs> a secret agent, immaculate, intelligent, a rookie. They call him only G. His identity, a mystery. You ever gonna tell anyone what that fucking G stands for? No. A Playboy cop. Isaac Washington. Make him mad and he'll rip your balls off. There you go. I'm gonna rip your motherfucking balls off. There you go. <laughs> Fun for the whole family. The allies will confront terror most foul in the blood so called. Papa's Palace of Pain. Be a courteous guest. By tomorrow morning, I'll have my motherfucking revenge. Papa Caesar will be dead. <laughs> if we don't stop this stupid outbreak by tomorrow morning, we'll all be dead. Because your visit will be your last. Papa's Palace of Pain. Rated X. And there you have it. That intro alone gives you an idea of what's coming. Shit, man. I think I slept with that bitch. here and get the audio okay audio music volume let's bring the music down come on how do you change this no Select B, 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 B. No. Come on. I can't select none of these.
Ah, hell with it. Not letting me.
Washington is pretty pissed off. Get me fat bastard. Who taught these guys table manners? Mother, these guys ain't human. I've never seen this kind of crazy shit before. All right, so what's the game? You restrain the subject, and I'll lead an interrogation. Fuck that, Columbo! Shoot to me! You are dead. <laughs> and there you have it, guys. At least a little playthrough up to that point. So now you see why I like that game so much. House of the Dead Overkill. Another one of the really cool, cool games from the world. Another one, which is one of those rare titles that I was talking about, the one that the last story fits. This one is a weird mix of Castlevania gameplay and kind of like uh, Devil May Cry and some RPG elements, all like bundled into one game. Now let's see if I can choose. I'm hoping that I'm gonna be able to use a, a regular. No, it has to be emulator re remote. I'm gonna use the Galaxy One again. And this is the game. Pandora Sour. This is another one of those games out of the three, the Trinity, the powerful Trinity, one being Xenoblade Chronicles, the other one being Last Story, and this one were the three major games that were announced for the Wii, but took their sweet time getting over. This one reached the States, but it was already too late. A lot of people have moved on, gotten rid of their systems, or probably even threw it in a closet and forgot about the system altogether. I'm going to start a new file so you can see, at least get a look at what the game is all about. Of course I can go with the same conventions, you know, people expect me maybe to have like Super Mario Bros. Uh, Wii or something like that, or the Zeldas, which is a given, but I wanted to highlight more of those games that didn't get the attention that they deserved, and that are really fun games, you know, not, not wanting to state the obvious like everybody else does. This one tells the tale of a girl who has a curse, and within that curse, she uh, the only way to get rid of that curse is eating the hearts of monsters. So basically, the hero, her boyfriend, is trying a boyfriend, or I don't know if it's a family member actually. Anyways, the thing is that he sets out to kill, destroy these monsters, and retrie retrieve their hearts so she can eat it 
and little by little get rid of the curse. This girl, if you don't act to help her, she won't be human much longer. Maya! Slowly but surely, she will become a beast. <laughs> Skip the story segments so we can get into the gameplay so you guys can get a quick view of how the gameplay works. That is, if it doesn't crap out, hopefully. Escape! Take it! Now the chain, that chain is the main weapon. You need it to get hold of all that beast flesh. The flesh is for a ceremony, you see, to get her back to her own self. Marvda, I want to go too. So basically that chain is the main weapon and that chain can be used as a way to uh, traverse the environment and uh, as a way to attack and you're going to be seeing you're going to be seeing that in a while now let me see let me get to grips with my with my controls okay Okay, so this is the A button, B button, and I have a guard here, and this as my Wii remote. Alright. So pick up, pick up, all right, got it. And this one, ironically, this one is not even, well, it is RPG, but it leans more to towards uh, action, more like a Castlevania mixed with Devil May, May Cry. But I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get uh, used to the controls. See, you can even use the remote to look and zoom into different places, so you can better see hidden stuff. But playing with the 360 controller for this control setup is a bit, is a bit hard.
to use the equipment method. Look at that nice little fella. There we go. and then press B. Nope, not working. This is A, so this, no. And then press B. B, no. There he goes. Now wave to get him. Now what did I use for wave here? Do I even have wave here? Let me check and see. Controller. Actually don't. Look at that. That's incredible that I didn't have a last story. Um, last story. What do you call it? Um, configuration. This one needs some specific moves. Tilt forward trigger. There it is. Switch to another one then. At least you guys got a look.
Now one that shouldn't be too complicated in terms of controls would be none other than another friend of ours from Sega. Hopefully the classic control will work fine with this. Sega. Though the Sonic titles have gone pretty downhill after the 16 bit uh, era, um, this one at least, you know, I mean, not 16 bit, I meant to say after the Dreamcast versions came out, it basically it went downhill. <clears throat> but this one is kind of cool. course with the ability to play it in, in high def you get to see how really good the graphics look the problem with the Wii was the uh, resolution I mean being capped at 480p in high definition uh, TVs it sucked you know so it wouldn't hold a lot but look at these graphics I mean even just a single ring is enough to keep you safe when you take damage Those are white wisps. They give you boost energy. Rescue them to fill up your boost game. Oh, I missed that. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
If you ask me, pretty badass. I got a sucky C rating, but the ride is worth it. So yeah, if you look back at the titles available for uh, Sonic, this one is one of the more decent ones. Um, full of color, if you get a chance to play it this way though, there are methods for you to get your original copy of the game and using some software you can google and you have a method of actually um how do you call this you get a, a method of basically burning your 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 disc into an sd card and that can be played uh on your pc on the emulation so there's nothing wrong with that and you'll be able to actually play it in a much better way with better graphics better resolution and as you can see it's pretty different um how it how it looks uh with uh let's say 10, 1080p than the standard 480 which had a lot of visual elements that didn't look really that good so now after watching sonic I think it would be a, a good time to start getting the uh, Sega. Let me check here real quick if there's a game that maybe I wanted to show you guys. Because the rest of the titles that I have here are going to be somehow showcased in one or another retrospective. So I really don't want to go into that. Yeah, I think that basically covers it. Oh wait, let me show this fighter. Now, I have to say, before I even boot the game, it is going to run in certain areas very slow because this is a 60 frame per second game. And you'll notice right away when it starts dropping. But I'm going to show it to you guys anyway so you get to see. This is a fighter that was tailor-made for the Wii. I say Taylor made because it's a franchise, it's an exclusive that never came to any other console ever. And it's a title that kind of like tried, Capcom tried to make up for the fact that they weren't doing Street Fighter anymore on a Nintendo console. So they did this project, Tatsunoku vs. Capcom, and it's a pretty entertaining game. The, the controls are a little simplified, they... they are reminiscent more of Marvel vs. Capcom in a way. But yeah, it's a pretty cool fighter. And again, it got overlooked by many because it came on the Wii. So if it came on the Wii, it must have been crap. You know? you can The whole thing about Tatsunoko and the reason why this game ex ex excelled in Japan is because uh, Tatsunoko is one of our manga artists, very famous in, in, in Japan. So most of these series, cartoon series that we used to watch as kids, like uh, G-Force and, uh, and some other cartoon uh, from Japan, was done by this by this fella. So they made a team up with that artist and they came up with this. And Capcom was kind enough to not limit themselves just to Street Fighter characters and stuff like that. They started putting in characters from Amnesia and other series as well. So it's a really, a really, really cool title that if uh, if you haven't tried it out, you should. I'm not gonna mess too much with the. I'm not gonna mess too much with the settings. 
because this is more like a tryout. But basically, I'm gonna uh, take uh, choose Ryu. I got a second character. I'm gonna take this from GeForce. That's from Akuetsu's uh, Captain. Now it is gonna slow down again. Uh, it is gonna slow down, but I'm gonna let it play this uh, this way because I just want to show you how the game looks. Because even with a really beefy PC, it's still gonna run. It's something in inherent in the emulation. It's not nothing in the game. See? It's gonna slow down, especially doing those moves. And the reason why it slowed down at all is because since I'm streaming and recording, besides playing, playing the game, you know, it's really taxing on the CPU. Damn, just missed that. I forgot how to change characters. There you go. Oh no no, I thought he changed. I think they were... There we go. Two billion gazillion hits. Can you see that? Awesome. Now, when you get to do two billion damage, that's something else. I jumped over it. And since, of course, the character art is designed by both Capcom and Tatsunoku, the artists that I keep mentioning, the art style is flawless. I mean, there's nothing, absolutely no flaw in the art style. It looks beautiful. Plus, you get to play with characters like Beautiful Joe, uh, characters from Amnesia, and some other franchises that Capcom has. See ya! Oh, I love it! I can't change. I wish I knew. No! I wish I knew. Is it these two buttons? Or is it There's a combination that you can change partner, but I can't place him to find it. That's okay. Already time is already nine o'clock. I'm gonna go right ahead and give you guys a preview of. Let me get this one first. I'm gonna give you guys a preview of what's coming up later on. <laughs> get out of here. But I'm not done yet. Later on, very soon, we're going to be having some of this. And what is this? Well, this is basically the Wii U menu. Basically, I'm going to be doing streams with the Wii U and some other consoles, including 
perhaps more, more, more than like them we'd be doing some PS3 games as well. That's already been set into motion, so to speak. So yeah, that's going to be part of it. Now, wait a second. Something disappeared here. Which I'm going to send all the way to the top. There you go. Can't lose, can't lose the chat, man. Can't lose the chat. All right. Since we got that, let me see if I can actually, no, it's going to bite into that. So I'm going to move the screen towards this side because this way I get more real estate to play with. Now, the cool thing, I'm showing you this now. This is my screen right here. This is my, as you can see at, at the upper corner, that's little old me. Uh, my profile. And, um, yeah, these are the stuff that I have here. I have Pikmin 3. I have that I can cover. I got Metroid Prime Trilogy, as you can see by the icon, the third icon there. That one I have to play with the original controller, the remote, but all three are going to be there. That's going to be part of the retrospective. Now, in terms of games, we have a few games that we're going to be able to cover. But I just want to show you guys at least a little bit, just a taste of Bayonetta. The beautiful and bodacious Babe Witch. loads up let me see if I can bring up the sound a bit all right now this is gonna be a lot more how can I say this a lot more doable with XSplit A lot more seamless between scene to scene and all that stuff. So I'm just gonna give you guys a little taste before I end the stream. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna load a se oh wait a second. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna load a section on chapter one because I don't wanna spoil too much of the beginning, because when I start doing the Wii U stuff, I'm gonna be start doing uh, the the extended plays you know I'm gonna be doing the whole game I'm gonna uh, start with uh, previewing just the system which will probably be like maybe one stream or two an hour each just to showcase the system then I'm gonna be starting to do the plays the actual plays one of the games that I'm gonna be covering from beginning to end is gonna be Bayonetta 1 and 2 so this is the taste of the first chapter glad you like it man I know there's there's a lot of people who really missed out on this game because they were so mad and so pissed off that this game came for the Wii U that basically they boycotted the game and didn't buy it you know just because it didn't come out on the Xbox one or the PlayStation 4 which to me is complete and utter bullshit if they really wanted the team to get paid for doing this game they should have just you know get the, the, the system, get the console and play the game, but it's their loss in the end because this is one of the, the, the best games on the system right now, and one of the best uh, games that came out on 2014, I think it was game of the year in many, many sites, so yes, let's start, <clears throat> here I have her with a Samus from Metroid suit on, 
you can see from the shiny armor. Yeah. Because not only did we, did we get, you know, the people who actually bought the Wii U, so, a kick-ass game, and some whale in Europe is trying a kick-ass sequel, rock on the black but we actually got the first so part right included in the game Same and a whole bunch of other free, the of the world. no DLC but bullshit, but free the stuff, fan now, service, you know, costume and stuff thing. without paying the an extra dime. So, you know, of years. when you take Vanishes, all that into consideration, and then the black market goes white hot for the thing. So you just skip the story because if that is going to take too much and I know you guys want to see the one. action and here we go <laughs> of course this is the the salmon suit but you can switch between there's a part where it lets you allows you to switch suits Closer here, so you can get a look of the salmon suit, which is incredible. The attention to detail that they put into this game, and for the extra stuff available in it. <clears throat> Is it looking good over there, man? Because from the OBS, I can't tell really that that much, but at least the XSplit one that I tested earlier today, it was looking really good. And this, of course, is going to benefit not only the streams that I'm going to be doing on the Wii U and PlayStation 3, but also the PC games that I'm going to be doing later on. As you guys should know by now, because I've covered it many times before, I am a backer from the Star Citizen project, which I think they came out with a 2.0 version, so I'm going to be downloading that during the weekend. But that's a game that I need to stream. I, I need to stream that game because when it comes to flight sims and stuff like that, that I'm a Star Wars geek and fan, and everything that has to do with sci-fi and space shooters, I'm all over it. So that's another thing that I'm going to be covering. Seal of the Sun. I still don't have this. Okay. Break it. Yeah. There you go, and I have my little key. Now look at that big ass key that I needed just to open this other door. Oh boy, here we go. Oh 
Look at all that nice little blood and gore. Wow. Oh, no, no, but wait. This is a mistake because this is a Nintendo system. This is a kitty system. You're not supposed to be watching, so that's not blood. That That's probably just a little bit of Kool-Aid. Ah, all right. Okay, now the key, I needed it for that side over there. There you go. And I got a gold medal for my efforts. Now I know there's a save point around here. a gold medal. It seems to me that I'm not sucking. <laughs> That's a good thing. By dodging the okay. I am, however, going to leave it right here because I don't want to show too much off. Just wanted to give you guys a preview of what is going to come up later on. Now, of course. You guys, a costume change option. See, you can change the costume here. This one, which is uh, Princess Peach, <laughs> with a little twist, of course. I have another one, also from Mario, and of course, the Zelda uh, Link inspired one. Yeah, that's basically going to be it for that aspect of this. So I'm going to just change here real quick because if I allow myself to stay any longer there, then I'm going to want to keep playing and, and no, not, not, not quite yet. Soon, soon. Well, basically, bro, my next one, oh my God, my next one is going to be, I figure, around Tuesday again. And it's and it's for the better because right now that's gonna change though. I <clears throat> so far my schedule, my static schedule is Tuesdays and Fridays on Twitch. Is it Tuesdays and Fridays? No, Tuesdays and Fridays on Hitbox and Thursdays and Saturdays on Twitch. But that's gonna change, of course, with more content to provide for streams. I'm gonna up that more. I don't know if I'm gonna include a third stream or include some, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> some uh, added streams on a Sunday. It's all possible, but I'm still trying to figure it out. However, the days that I have from today till Tuesday, 
And remember that next week is going to be request week, so I got to be careful with that. I don't want to, you know, <clears throat> after I announce that, I don't want to mess it up. So it will give me enough time from here to then to actually configure everything <clears throat> uh, with an XSplit and, you know, the card, and I get some more practice streaming and doing recordings and stuff. And when you guys see how it's going to look in the end, you guys are, are going to love it. Or at least I'm expecting you guys are going to love it. So that's going to be all for today. Thanks a lot for viewing. Uh, Aaron, thanks a lot once again, man. Uh, whenever you go live, just let me know. Text me or whatever. You know how it is. You know the drill. So for the time being, let's do this nice little tune as I say goodbye. Kill your baby today. And with that, I will be back. See you next time.